Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at Numar's best-selling product that they have to offer. This is their Numar Baystar Sport, which is their smallest package, which is still giving you luxury and it's perfect for state and national parks. This is the 2023 Numar Baystar Sport. This is model 2920. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Base Star Sport and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I'm super excited. We are taking a look at this awesome Newmar Base Star Sport, which is perfect for state and national parks. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea! Hi, everybody! How's it going today? It's going good, you guys. I am super excited about this motorhome. It's kind of a different layout, and I haven't seen one like this before. I haven't seen this layout either, so it's gonna be pretty unique. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, let's begin. We're here in Tampa. It's a chilly day, so you won't yeah, see us. Yeah, what's up with these? Yeah, you won't see us sweating like we normally are. Right, but Andrea, I got the AC on for us today. Oh, great. <laughs> Okay, model is 2920 Newmar Base Star Sport. The actual tip to tip length is 29 feet 11 inches. So, this is perfect for state and national parks. Again, this is the Newmar Base Star Sport. It is Newmar's entry level, but there is nothing entry level about this motorhome. Full body paint comes on all these Newmars. I love this full uh, paint job, nice brake windshield. The LED lights look great. Everything about the exterior always looks fantastic when it comes to Newmar right here we do have side cameras on the side because this is the 2023 it does have 7.3 liter v8 it is the god engine that's 350 horsepower and 468 pound feet of torque and then look at these tires they're continentals i love those 245-70 r 19.5 and then with shiny rims right there we do have mirrors on both sides painted the cameras aren't in them and then right here andre is the power awning with led lights coming on down andre sorry we, oh we do have frameless windows right here very nice you okay i'm good you getting a little marilyn monroe action going on <laughs> yeah right there we do have storage there's our inverter yes aluminum slam latch doors Oh, and all these doors are going to swing up. Oh, that's weird, right? But I think yeah. I like it. Unless oh. it holds up. Wait. Oh, it doesn't, does it? No, it does. Okay, so we have one of those. Okay. Yeah. Check out that storage. Okay. Nice water heater. I love how they uh, continue the paint job. Okay. So look at how it holds up. But it kind of is a pain when you're coming under here. Got to be careful not to hit your head. Perfect. Finishing up, coming on down. Right here's your own AM 5500 generator. Right over here, you got a okay. little bit more storage. Good storage. Very nice. Coming around the back, we do have a nice fiberglass rear cap. 5,000 pound hitch, this motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. Frameless windows, I think I already mentioned that. Backup camera there, and Andrea. We do have a ladder to get up on the roof. Uh-oh. Let's go up there and take a look. Great, Matt. Hold on. Here we go now. You're awfully sore from the gym. Up here on the roof, you can see we have a nice roof, fully walkable. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Wine guard digital antenna right there. And then you can see that you can have max air fans on the roof. Also notice this looks like it's a TPO roof to where a normal base star is a one piece fiberglass roof. Very interesting. not funny oh, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh no. what's wrong with you today that's a tiktok trend oh see i wouldn't know i'm too old for tiktok great they're looking at me from the inside <laughs> like what's going on all right let's see we got more storage <laughs> over here People just sorry like, guys we've had a little bit of a break off from the you know rv open house this is our first day back to recording so all right we got storage there i got fuel fill up right there yes and then andrea we are actually taking a pause from the open house videos because the weather was so nice today i really wanted to film but next week we 
we'll have more RV open house films. There's a lot of new stuff coming. There from is. That. Okay, we've got our wet bay there. Yep. We've got the tank there and some more storage, battery bank that looks like it's on a tray, and your propane. And Andrea, Miss Jen will insert specs, bing, right there, so everybody can see who is watching on television. Yes, ma'am. All right, let's go, Matt. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right, let's see if he goes back to skipping and he does. All right, Matt, get the cargo carrying capacity. 3,006 pounds. Wow. All right, here we are. I'm gonna do a 360. And then as you can see, the slide is in. Plenty of walkway here. It gets a little tight, but it's doable. And then we've got the bathroom right there. Okay, and then the bedroom. Oh, wow, you can use a bed with the slide in. Very nice. Okay. All right, Andrea, while we get the slide outs out, let's give a big shout out to RV Life. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life, tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV life. So first discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular trip planner. That software is amazing. It's gonna tell you the best routes and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. Andrea. Wow. Really interesting style of it layout. It is. That I haven't seen in a very long time in the RV industry. And again, you guys might be looking at this, it's small, it's cramped. Guys, it's truly under 30 feet long which that's what this buyer is looking for. Andrea, let's get started up front. First thing I noticed, no bunk over the cab, okay? You do have a TV right here, some storage here. If you could show that storage right there. Very nice. All right. And then right over here, Andrea, I'm yes. sitting in the cockpit. I'm a commander. I got my auto leveling right here, cup holder. It's a very nice place for me to uh, rest my cell phone. It's great for, um, for when I use my RV Life navigation app. Bing! <laughs> nice steering wheel right here. You got your cameras, your Sirius XM radio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, everything that you would want right there. And then Andrea, yes, you sir. could sit over here. Okay, very nice. Um, I do see there is a little workstation here. Yes, oh man. Okay. All right, very sturdy. Okay. I like it a lot. Um, I do know, ugh, let's see, I don't know if I want to go through that every time. Now. Okay. Uh, nice seats though. Both of these do swivel. Yes. So you do have more, oh, there's a footrest on here too. Oh, very nice. very nice. So you do have more seating. And with that being there, that's a perfect place for the kitty cat to be up on while you're driving down the road. baby bangle. Yep. So cats actually love that. There is storage above the door. Yes, ma'am. Let me show everybody. Oh, that's just our panels. Yes. Okay. Battery disconnect and everything. And then over here, Andrea, let's check this out real quick. Okay. How do you like the wood? Notice you know, what we got going on. I do actually like it. And I'm not really a fond of dark colors, but I actually like the wood in here. Very nice. And then check out these valances. Approved. Ding. Very nice. Andrea approves these valances. Very cute. Now here's something that I don't approve of. I don't oh, like these whatsoever. Yeah. Um, I much prefer the slow rise shades, 
but it is what it is. And then Andrea, check this out. One thing I'm noticing, smaller motorhome. A lot of times these small motorhomes, they're gonna put in the two cushion sofas. This is a three seater sofa, which is very nice. It looks comfortable. It is, I, I do like this. This does come out and make a bed. It is a trifold. So it's like a, uh, feels like kind of like a leather. Right. Like hybrid or something. It's pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. And we do know what, this is a, a trifold it looks like. Yes. Okay. Yes. And it, it is pretty nice. Um. Oh. Yeah, oh. I was just thinking oh. that. Oh, no. <laughs> I was waiting for you to yeah, notice. Yeah, I was just like, hang on. Where's the TV? Am I missing something? There's the TV's over the there. TV. <laughs> Very uh. weird placement for where uh. the sofa is. I hear you. All right, Andrea, uh, why don't you show us this kitchen? Sure, very interesting kitchen. Let's see, we have a cabinet here. Yes, I am. two-way refrigerator. Now, this is good size. I think that's a standard size. Yes. Okay, we've got storage above here. Okay. And then we've got a microwave. Yes, very nice. Now, this is strange. What is that? The, uh, what is it, the hood range? Hood range. Hood range. Isn't it? It's like really low. Three burner propane cooktop. Okay. Suburban. We got the oven here. Um, I think the backsplash is interesting. I don't like it. You know what I it looks like? I feel like it looks dark. Makes it look dark in here. It, it looks like a whole bunch of bike locks mixed it together. Like puzzles. You, you, you know, like the teeth on the bikes. Yeah. Yeah. So we got a cabinet here, which just goes back here. Okay. More storage above. The sink with adjustable shelves. Very nice. We've got solid surface countertop. Very pretty. Yes. A double sink. Would you look at that? That's interesting. Yes, ma'am. And we've got, oh, the extension here. Okay. And then under here, we've got more storage. Two drawers. Yes. Soft close. Oh, wow. And then if you don't have enough counter space, they gave you this extension here. Which See, and I like that. And that's flush, so yes, that's yes, good. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's, I like that. Okay, uh, I guess, Matt, this would be the pantry over here. Okay, walking down a little bit. Yeah, good size pantry. Well, Andre, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome here is $223,755, Andrea. That is MSRP. Current sale price is $186,995, which is a good sale price. And if you guys are interested in this unit, all you gotta do is go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact tab. We're gonna get you in, con like if you're interested in this unit, we're gonna get you in contact with RV1 of Tampa to make sure you guys get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry, Andrea. Check out this dinette. Wow, it's really small. It is, it's for two people. You know, and I like that, you know. They definitely could have fit a normal four size in here. Check that out. But I like how they did it their own way. Cute clock. Yep, because at the end of the day, Andrea, spent with a sofa, with a floor plan like this, with no bunk over the cab, they're, you're not seating four people. So don't even make the dinette for four. Make the dinette for two. But what if you have guests? What if you have like, what if, we have go, Jen, what if we have Jen and Will over for dinner? We're not, if, I'm glad you said that. If we know the, the there's give and takes, okay? What's more important? That one time Will and Jen come to our RV or going to state national parks being under 30 feet long? For me personally, if Will and Jen matters more than the state and national parks, I'm getting a bigger motorhome that can accommodate them. Whereas, if I'm not worried about Will and Jen because we all go out to restaurants anyway, so I'm not worried about entertaining them in here, but I am worried about going to Yellowstone and Mount Rainier and all that good stuff, then that's the priority. Good point, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. It's not about which RV is the best, it's always about which RV is the best for your situation. Let's see if there's storage under here. Hang on. Jen, put that little... If you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen going to speak the truth? My name is... Nobody. My name is Matthew Truth Foxcroft. That's very the true. The truth. That is the truth, Matt. <laughs> Let's see. We got... Oh, wait. I think that's a drawer, Matt. 
Yeah, see the thing? There nice. you go. Very so we've nice. got storage under there Is and there under on here? the other side. Yep. Okay. Yes. Oh, very good. Yes, ma'am. All right, let's check out this bathroom. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh. where's the shower? Oh, there's a shower. Oh, good size. Good size shower. Wow. Can't get mad at it. It, it. It tricked me there for a minute. It sure did. Wow, okay. So we got storage above here. Yes, ma'am. And then we've got the medicine cabinet. It's always fun to figure these out. All right. Okay. Very nice. It's, wow, you, you got some countertop in here. Storage there. I don't know what this is. Okay. Access. That's back weird. Up some. Okay. Okay. Oh, look, that's cute. There it is. <laughs> All right. Solid Let's, surface in here, nice yes. little sink. It's a little dark in here though. Mm. Even with the lights on. All right. Uh oh. Just like ours. This is not a prime pooping position. Womp, 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 womp. Again, it's kind of like an overdone sink, which is blocking my knee. If the sink didn't do this, then we would have been fine. But it did do it, Andrea. And then there's your control panel there. Good size control panel. Yes. Wow. Yes. All right, pocket door going into the master. As you can see, it's a good entry here. Sure is. And as Andrea said, big size pocket door just makes the smaller motorhome give you a nice big feel. We got the TV right there. Nice little uh, window countertop storage. And you've got five drawers over here. There's your wardrobe. Yep. Okay. Very nice. Ugh. Open one of those bottoms. Oh, my back is killing me. Okay, right so there. the bottom one is bigger than that top. Yeah. And then, is it, there's a king size bed in here. It's a good size. Wow. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Very nice. We do have storage above. I don't like that headboard. All right. You don't? No. Okay. And then we've got this one here. Very nice. Really cute balances in okay. here. Okay. And then they did give you little nightstands there, which is nice with yes. an electrical outlet USB. I have a nice storage. Right over here as well. And let's check. Oh. And then here's your fuses. Okay. And let's see Good if there's spot. storage under here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Wow. That's good storage. Yes, it is. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give people three things we love about this motorhome and three things we just don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Matt, let's do three things we like about it first. Andrea, that's a good idea. Okay. You go first. Oh, well, that's nice. All right, Matt, I love the fact that you get this big sofa in here. Yes. Like said, a lot of times when you are in these smaller motorhomes, you're really getting the two-seater. Yep. This actually is a really good size. Yep. And wow. Comfy. It, it is comfortable. It sure is. This little pad there. That's number one, Andrea. Number two for me is going to be the fact that this is 29 feet, 11 inches. This is perfect for state and national parks. Again, it checks off the boxes of somebody who wants Newmar quality, but still being small and compact. That's why I love this brand. That's number two. And then Andrea, number three, I'm going to have to give it to this bedroom. For as small as this motorhome is, it's pretty crammed up there, but for the master bedroom to have all this space, king size bed, I really, really love what they did here. Well, Andrea, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it in Andrea. The first two are actually outside. Andrea, dislike number one. Somebody mentioned this, the last Newmar Bay Star, and I didn't realize it until I started looking. Newmar puts the awning on the window here. Oh! I'm that, not a fan of that. That's weird. It kind of makes sense because now you're able to get a longer awning. I'm just not a huge fan of that. And for that, that just makes it dislike number one. Andrea, dislike number two. I know you said you didn't have a problem with it, but I do not like side uh, flip up doors. I much prefer sideways swinging doors. Now here's what I will say. Newmar did do a fantastic job with how high it goes, but still, just give me sideways swinging doors. I don't know why they did it that way. Andrea, that's dislike number two. I definitely would hit my head, Matt. Andrea, dislike number three. Okay, dislike number three for me, and, and I, you know, I gotta say, the TV placement, that is really a big dislike for me. Yeah. I I don't wanna sit here like this the yeah. whole time, like, 
you know, watching TV. Yeah. So. That's a very, very bad TV placement, yes. Andrea. <laughs> Again, it kind of is what it is. What's more important, 30 feet or TV placement? If the TV placement is more important, then just go up to the to the 2903 or whatever, or the um, or the 3226. You know what I'm saying? And then you get just a better TV spot, Andrea. I am gonna combo that with. It's very dark over here. I I really would have liked to see a kitchen window. But Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you guys are interested in this motorhome, please go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact tab. We are here to make sure you guys get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. Andrea, what do you want to say to America? Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yes. New more, they do read the comments. They do watch the videos. So don't forget to comment down below, guys. Um, I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you, absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.